Hello, welcome to Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a daily psychic tarot reading, tuning in to the day's energies, seeing what divine guidance and messages come through, what moves we can use. So why don't we go ahead and get started? That was the worst shuffle in the whole wide world. <laughs> All right. So this is a general reading. I'm tuning into general energies. So take what resonates and leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate with you, um, let that go. Maybe that's someone else's message. If you would like a reading where you can ask your specific questions, there's a link in the description box below. I've enjoyed thoroughly meeting so many of you in that one-on-one -on -one space uh, for psychic readings, coaching. There's a whole laundry list of things or menu, I guess. So let's get to your reading starting in the past. Looking at the energy of the moon, something that's hidden. Maybe I feel like something that was hidden, something that was um, you hid from yourself. Boy, it's in the subconscious. Um, yeah. I, Oh, this is interesting. I feel like there are parts of your self that were hidden. And because of a unwillingness or inability to see those aspects of yourself, they kept showing up as a reflection in your experience as uh, people and situations. But I feel like you didn't realize you were that this was a reflection. You were, you um, yeah, hadn't come to that realization yet that what's happening outside of you is a reflection of your internal energy. Yeah, you are still in a very traditional mindset. Um, there's an aspect. feels like um, there's a, a new part of you in this past, as I'm glimpsing, like a part of you that was starting to birth a consciousness, the key to your consciousness. I feel like part of um, What started the, the trigger to awakening was something around feminine energy. Goddess energy, creative energy. Maybe you wanted to learn how to create. Maybe learn how to manifest something different. There's a real desire here to um, look inside, uh, really analyzing, pulling things apart to get a better look. But something about the seed, something about um, manifesting, creating something new and different for yourself sparked a uh, Kind of a beginning of willingness to see aspects of yourself that are holding you back. Yeah, mental traps, things that have kept you beliefs, beliefs that have beliefs, pictures, energies, patterns. It feels very mental that have that kept you stuck and once you see these patterns and see 
um, real have that realization that this is just a belief. It feels like you you realize, oh, my freedom. I these beliefs don't have to. I don't have to align with these beliefs. I can align with my divine nature. I can divine with my soul. It feels like you were wanting to break free and realizing how once you see a belief, then you realize it's really easy to let go of them and find freedom. That you, your belief was keeping you stuck. A belief that no longer served you was keeping you in place, stuck. Tied to people or situations. So it looks like you went within to heal. It looks like a real, uh, real transformation. Finding, finding, and keeping the beliefs that brought stability, security, but letting go of um, anything that. Boy, it, it's like a, it, a a real clearing house that happened here in your beliefs. Very impressive. So, all right. In present time, we've got the Empress in reverse. Ooh, so the Empress in reverse is someone not nurturing, not caring, not able to grow things there's a um wait really as i'm tuning into this it's a lack of care um lack of real earnest care infertile unable to create unable to um manifest ideas and bring birth them into reality. The energy feels a little toxic. I'm not going to lie. It's um, feels like this inability to create and the lack of care. Um, it feels like they're going to create no matter what so i'm going to create so i i'm also getting like the magician in reverse vibes you know manifesting from a, a dark space because they can't bring in what they want and so they're operating from wounds they're Per, their perception is from that wounded space. Okay. So we've got that in person reverse and we've got the king of wands. It's an interesting point of view. There's a more typical king of wands imagery. And instead... This is a vice versa tarot deck. We've got this perception, this perspective, seen from behind and at night. And there's, I don't know if you can really see in this, there's a tree and a giant snake wrapped around that tree. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the Empress in reverse is a feminine energy stuck. And this is a masculine energy. A masculine energy that's turned their back on this feminine energy. I feel like they're realizing um they're really looking at the fear and control that has 
in in their lives. That they have allowed fear and control to control their lives. Wow, okay. I feel like this is uh, a masculine energy that's seeing that the, this feminine energy is in their toxic feminine energy. Can I use the same words? I need a thesaurus up in here. All right. However, it looks like this person, this masculine energy is unable to release their burdens, unable to end the cycle. They won't, they're not letting go of the burdens. Maybe the burdens is this empress in reverse energy, toxic feminine energies and whoever is uh running toxic feminine energies mm. it looks like this masculine is um afraid of change afraid of the pain of the grief of leaving even though this toxic feminine energy is not loving is not caring there's no care there's no nurturing, there's no growth, there's no abundance, there's no fertility, not fertility just to create life, like literal, but I feel like there's, I can't create, this energy can't create anything new in that uh, reverse position. And yet this masculine can't leave, I'm too afraid of the heartache that this will cause. I'm focused on the, if I release these burdens, if I unburden myself, I feel like I'll, I'll it feels like I'll uproot my whole world, my whole environment and feels like a lot of people will get hurt emotionally hurt wow the moon card again we just had a full moon in the strawberry full moon a couple days ago we might be in the shadow of feels like this person is having new ideas coming to mind. They want a new start. Feels like something has, has sparked um, like uh Maybe someone has sparked um, a reason to go through the pain and the suffering of leaving this is the possibility of um, a new beginning, something bright, something healing. I'm, I'm getting something peaceful feels like this um oh wow and there's a there's a breakup or, or at least a realization that um that there needs to be a breakup that there's no love here there might have been love but there's no love here this is not a partnership Wow. Yeah, 
And it looks like moving towards love, uh, a peaceful love. Um, self-love. This is actually an act of self-love that I'm reading here. Starting even in the past, like there was something unseen and then a spark and a realization that you're not stuck. And so you go into healing and change your beliefs. And then in present energy, there's um, a feminine energy that's just toxic, very toxic, unable to create any, uh, unable to create anything light. very stuck energy and the the masculine it looks like they've kind of turned their back on that energy or taking some time to think and they're starting to see they start to see the fear and control and it feels it this might be this person's dark night of soul and they're afraid to let go of this connection and release the burdens because um, by breaking, making a break in this connection, it it looks like it. There's a realization that this will affect a lot of people's lives, but there's something about the moon and the desire to. explore a new way of being and to heal that gives this person the um the strength the security the support somehow within they um feels like they might be using the moon cycles whether they're conscious or not and they they break that assault or they realize that the break is necessary so they can have a new opportunity in love so they can love themselves and receive love in return. So they're, they have new, something new, new emotions, new loving feelings, create something new. Wow. All right. In the center of the reading message from your higher self, is the eight of pentacles in reverse. This is something not working. This is working on something, putting a lot of effort and time, but it just doesn't work. It doesn't lead to mastery. It leads to, oh, I wanna say wasted effort and time. Nothing is ever wasted, but it does feel like, um, And there's all this energy input and no, nothing to show for it. Uh, it's tiring. It's exasperating. It's so frustrated. I, I just like the time, the effort, the work. Can you tell I'm getting like frustrated? Okay, so you might be, or if this is resonating, there's a, a frustration from things not working out. And it feels like over a, quite a long period of time. Oh, right below the King of Wands is the Queen of Wands in reverse. I mean, right, that's okay. So it didn't work. This connection didn't work. Um, they, they are matches. They might be fire energies. So Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Aries. Um, again, 
I feel like this is the Empress in reverse is also the Queen of Wands in reverse energy. This is who we're talking about. It didn't work with this uh, Queen of Wands and Empress in reverse. They, um, wait, uh, I just, I don't even know what to say. The frustration level that just like, um, I feel like this energy of frustration and I, I'm in disappointment and these, this mix of energies, um, realizing that all this effort and work is not going to go, um, to the expected or hoped outcome, an upright relationship, but instead there's like, oh my gosh, I, I, that's what this is. This is a, I'm, I'm at my limit. This is it. I, I feel like this energy, this person, the, whoever this feminine in reverse, their energy is um like this person the masculine can't even stand to be around this energy um like i'm gonna have to drink smoke to do all i mean that's a lot just to get comfortable to be around this energy maybe because there's clarity this person the masculine is realizing, seeing things clearly, seeing themselves clearly, seeing this person clearly, seeing their relationship clearly, seeing clearly that this does not work. I, I, it's getting to the point where this masculine is just um, uh, incapable of of um, connecting with this toxic feminine energy. I mean, they they're at just such a different vibration like their vibrations the masculine is doing this and the feminine is just so we're going in different directions like it can't communicate it looks like this masculine keeps shutting out uh turning their back on but i don't feel like this masculine knows what else to do stonewalling that just came in stonewalling it looks like um, the masculine is looking for emotional fulfillment, not just, I don't get the feeling that this masculine is like rushing to find um, someone to replace this feminine, but looking for some friendships, looking for some soul connections, people who are nice and kind, who are upright, who are nurturing. This masculine has done a lot of soul searching and healing and is looking for loving connections. I feel like this masculine has um is really looking for maybe to heal their own feminine energy maybe that's part of what they've done is heal some emotions and heal some of their feminine energy and so they're they're realizing what uh feminine energy that they are attracted to loving caring beautiful not as in this necessarily i mean this is definitely an attraction our 
each of us have an individual, you know, things that turn our crank. But here it's more like I'm feeling like an internal beauty. Someone who who has a lot to share and wants to share. And it's safe to share. Looks like this masculine energy is trying to figure out, um, make some decisions about their life. Um, do they stay where they are or do they move? What does their life look like now after this decision to move away? How, I mean, it's going to uproot. There's a lot of decisions that have to be made that are around just your basic this feels like breakup decisions like who gets the house who moves who stays in the car this this feels big where do i go do i stay here do i move somewhere new um what are the uh, what are the the realities that come with uh, this type of life change. Yeah, I guess this masculine is 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 done. Finito. It's over with any type of five of swords action. No more bullying. No more power plays. No more mental manipulation. No more win at any cost. No more fluffing egos. Don't know why that came out. Ooh, just a lot of frustration. Um, I'm, I think the frustration is I'm feeling it in the back of my uh, sacral, um, lower back. So it feels like um, the frustration is, look what I've created. All my work and effort in this connection, and this is what we've created. This is what we've co-created. This is no blaming this divine, this feminine in, um, in a reversed position. But look, look what we've <laughs> co-created. And I'm so frustrated because it's taken a lot of time and energy and effort. But I, I think a realization that, you know, when you don't know, you don't know. And it feels like this person it starts out, I didn't know. I didn't see it. I there were things that were hidden to me in and I didn't know. So if this is you or you know who this is, give this masculine a break. That's what I'm getting. They didn't know. And I hope this masculine, if that's you, that you give yourself a break and you can be a female, non-binary, or male. It does not matter your gender. I'm tuning into masculine energies here. And if this is you, you're frustrated with your partner um, or you were, or if this resonates, there's a, a an invitation to be compassionate, be kind. I feel like um, that might be what this masculine's looking for. It's okay. It's okay to mess up. It's okay. It's okay to fail. It's okay to let things fall apart. I feel like the, the masculine has been trying to hold something together that's been wanting to fall apart for a long time. And there's more and more effort in the trying to keep it together. 
the challenge right now is the six of pentacles. Equal give and take. Reciprocity. I'm getting um, that that at the heart of what this masculine is looking for is reciprocity. This masculine energy feels like they do all the work in the relationship. I think I feel like this um, masculine would be just so grateful and appreciative for someone who's willing to put in the work, willing to put in the effort. I mean, I, I, there's two hands and I feel like the reciprocity, the eight, like I'm giving to you, you give to me, but back and forth, equal give and take. Someone Same ideals, same goals, same values. They value the same things. They value putting in the work and the effort. This also looking for someone who wants to co-create and has similar ideas of what they want to co-create. Maybe when this masculine got together at first with this feminine energy, that they did have similar ideals, similar values but enough time went on that they did not, that they, their ideas, their values, what they want to bring in the world, what they want to create, what they value, separate. It feels like there's a separation and the challenge is to let go, to release attachments attachments to physical things, people. Maybe there's a lot of um, money, homes, cars. There's. It feels like there's a lot of things that this breakup, you know, if this is like a marriage that's been lasting for a long time, it's like, how do I even begin that? How do I... How do I let go of all of this that we co-created, even the crappy stuff? So there's like, um, it's going to create instability at first to let go of stuff, but it's to create stability down the line, more stability. That's also this masculine really wants some freaking stability. security, stability. I feel like this masculine feels pretty secure, but there's just a, a lack of stability, a lack of ease. Feels like uh, being in connection with this feminine energy is exhausting. It's, a, it's constantly the five of swords fighting against to get anything accomplished. We're never on the same page. That's him saying, we're never on the same page. We see things completely differently. How can we create something when we don't even share the same values anymore? We don't have the same goals, the same ideals. When I feel like this, Feminine energy is gaslighting the masculine and making uh, his, the masculine's feelings um, unimportant or ridiculing. Ooh, there's ridicule in here. Hmm. Yeah, the challenge is um, what to do with divine femme, how to how to communicate with the divine femme or the feminine energy when they're not in divine energy, when they're 
in the reverse when they're lying to themselves that I feel like what this person is the masculine is learning in this is that um there's a momentum to this feminine energy that's in the reverse that's not going to change and there's bing oh this is not this is never going to change maybe this divine feminine or feminine energy was never going to change that every like that the, they're just doing lip service maybe they never intended to change like that type of like oh oh i've i've been hoodwinked and bamboozled to stay in a connection with someone who's just using me and so that's what the divine masculine um energy is feeling their perspective There's a, a coldness that they've never been, uh, they haven't been able to get past for a long time. Feel like the, um, the masculine is using their intuition. It's awesome. It's, it's like a divine masculine intuition. That's real. That's, um, guiding them in a, a new direction. Wow. So, wow, that's what I'm getting. And that's all, that's kind of where it, it stops there is the masculine deciding to take a new direction using their intuition. Wow. All right, that's your reading. Let me know. I would love to know if this resonates with you and who this is. Maybe this is your energy, whether, you know, it's like, yeah, this is someone you know. It feels like a romantic connection. Wow. All right. That's your reading. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for um, watching, for liking the video. If you got to this point, I would really appreciate a, a like. I'd, I want, I, I want to grow this channel. I want it to grow and I want to reach more people. And um, yeah, and you can help me just by hitting that like, maybe commenting with a, an emoji if you don't know what to say. Silly emojis just to let me know. Hey, I'm here. Yeah, and sharing this with anybody who you think would um, enjoy these messages. So, all right. Wow. Take care. Bye.